Hi, you're with Chandeep and Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about an interesting technique where you can expand multiple lists simultaneously. Now, this is especially very, very helpful when you're working with a database and you come across a data set which has got nested lists captured inside of the columns and you want to expand multiple lists in different columns simultaneously. I'm going to talk about this. But before I talk about this particular technique, I want to give a quick shout out to my uh, live uh, training course on Power BI that is upcoming. And we'll actually get started with this particular technique right after that. All right, quick interruption in the video. Later this month, I am actually going to be doing a live training session on Power BI. And we're going to be focusing on the hard parts of Power BI. We're going to be focusing on Power Query, Data Modeling, and DAX. If you've recently started with Power BI and you have struggled to learn Data Modeling, Power Query, and DAX in a structured way, and you need my help, you've watched the videos, you've liked the way that I teach, and you'd like to enroll for the session, this is going to be a great learning opportunity. Note that this is going to be a live training session. And if you're the type of person who would like to sit along with the trainer and you'd like to get your doubts sorted, um, you know, get your doubts clarified as you move along in the training, get some assignments right after the training session, it's going to be a phenomenal learning opportunity. Now, just two more things. There is definitely going to be a last date for the training because we are starting later this month. So check that out. And also, uh, there are 15 seats available and of which five seats have been filled up. So in case you want a spot for yourself, do not wait and just fix up a spot for yourself. That's all about it. And uh, we'll just get started with this video. All right, I'm in Excel Power Query and that's where I have loaded some very, very simple data. But what I have been able to do in this particular data set is that across the category, which is A, B, C, D and E, I have two columns and those two columns contains a list each. So this column has a list and this column has a list. Now, if I particularly peek into the list, I will get to see one, two and three. If I peek into this particular list, I'll see Jan, Feb and March. Now, what I want to do is I want to expand these lists, but I want to expand these lists together. Now, let's just take a look at what happens if I tend to expand these lists one by one. So if I just go ahead and expand the first list right here, I am going to get definitely one, two, three all across the rows. Sure enough. But now if I expand the second list for every single value in this particular uh, column that I have, I'm going to extract new rows for the like, second list that I open up. So take a look, we currently have about 15 rows in the data. If I expand this, uh, which is Jan, Feb and March once again, I'm going to get 45 rows of data because Jan, Feb and March is going to be repeated for every value that we have against one, two and three. Now, I'm sure you can find ways to come back to the original one, two and three in Jan, Feb and March by doing some remove duplicates or some other creative Power Query solution. But wouldn't it be nice to just to be able to expand the list like it was supposed to be expanded. If I could expand both the columns, which were the two lists simultaneously, that would be really awesome. Let's just see how can we do that. All right, what I have done is I have deleted the two steps that I just created, which is where I expanded month and the month name. And I'm back at my original data, which shows me the category, the month and the month name. And I want to expand these two lists together so that it doesn't really create duplicate rows and then I have to remove it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna form a table of the two lists that I have and then expand that table in just one go. Take a look, how do we do that? I'm gonna go over to the add columns tab and then hop over to the custom column and start writing a custom column formula. The formula that I'm gonna write is a table dot from columns. From the two columns that I have, which is the month column and the month name column, I'd like to create a table. Now, if I start the bracket of this particular formula, it asks me for a lists. That means give me those multiple columns as lists in a single list. So to be able to create a list, what you would need is a curly bracket and I supply that curly bracket. Inside of the curly bracket, I need two columns which contain the lists. So month column contains the list and the month name column contains the list. I will supply that. So there goes the first column, put a comma, there goes the second column. Now I have to close the list that I created, which is the curly bracket and close that particular uh, bracket right there. Now, if I commit to this particular formula, it's actually going to give me a table as an output. And if I peek into the table, what I'm going to get the two lists combined into a single table, which I can now expand in just one go. So even if you had unequal values or the number of values which were different in any of the lists, so let's just say that if I go back on the first step right here, which is where I created the first list, if I just say that, hey, uh, we don't have really three values, we have four values, one, two, three, and four. But in the second list, we have uh, three months, and then we have four values. Now there are unequal values. 
it will still be able to combine the two lists into a single table. It's just that against the month of Jan, Feb and March, you will find one null value because there was one extra value in this particular column. Nothing to worry about. Take a look. We have a table and we have one extra null value. Doesn't really bother us. Now, of course, we can just get rid of these two columns that we don't need it and expand this particular column, open up both the columns um, and click on OK. And we have now successfully expanded the two lists that we have into multiple rows right here. All right, that was a quick trick on expanding multiple lists simultaneously to open up into a single table. Of course, if you have any questions around this, feel free to drop in a comment and I will be glad to reply. A quick shout about my upcoming uh, Power BI live training that is uh, coming up later this month. In case you are the type of person who would like to sit along with the instructor to get hold of the complicated concepts of tax, power query, or data modeling, and work through the problems to build your conceptual level understanding and then start to solve more sophisticated problem, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at this particular training. It's gonna be highly beneficial. In case you're interested to uh, take a look at my online courses, I do have my online courses on DAX and Power Query as well. Do take a look at those as well. They are also going to be incredibly helpful. Thanks so much for spending time with me and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers and take care. Bye.